What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Adam Sucks at Video Games. My name is Adam Blank. This is my Let's Play series here on the Remember the Game YouTube channel. And uh, today, we are going to continue our grind through my favorite game of all time, Super Mario World. Uh, if you've been watching these episodes in succession, you may notice that my life count is down from three dozen to five. And that is because I made the stupid rookie mistake of actually saving my game and then turning it off. Uh, forgetting that I would lose all of the lives that I had like an idiot. And you might be thinking, hey, if you're good at video games, you don't need more than a few lives to beat Super Mario World. And you'd be right. But I suck at video games, so... I don't suck at this game. It's just really hard to do while you talk. So we'll keep this thing going. I just went back to the top secret area there. The reason for that being... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to need a Yoshi to get the secret exit on the bridge here. And there isn't one in this world, if I'm not mistaken. And there's a very, very good chance that I am mistaken. Yoshi is just like, he's such a pain in the ass. Like I know there's times where he's handy, like when you can jump off of his back and stuff. But uh, not a fan, I won't lie to you guys. And I know it's kind of sacrilege to be a diehard Nintendo fanboy and not be a Nintendo or not be a Yoshi guy, but he just, I just find him to be a pain in the ass most of the time. I would rather just be Mario with a cape. You know, when you're on him, you can't do the cape swing, like the, the, the spin, and you can't do, oh fuck, if you paid attention, and you can't do like when you're up in the air and you do the constant like, you know what I, or <laughs> for the lack of a better term. Now blue Yoshi, I can get behind. Blue, bl oh fuck. Blue Yoshi is almost like a, like, is the P-Wing of Mario Brothers 3. And I know he doesn't always fly like this. Like, he's got to eat an egg normally. But I thought this was so cool as a kid, getting a chance to play as Blue Yoshi. Because I didn't even know, like, I knew Star Road existed because I'd unlocked some of the Star Road things. But, like, I was not good at this game as a child. And so, like, I didn't realize you could get a Blue Yoshi on the Star Road things for a long time. And so for this, like, for these wings, because if I'm not mistaken... These wings turn him into Blue Yoshi permanently. Yeah, which is like the coolest shit ever. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought that that was the secret exit. But, oh no, I remember now. This is actually the specific level. I mean, and I say I remember now and I might be fucking wrong, but I think this is the specific level where you have to ditch Yoshi I mean I guess you could fly up to it but if you have a Yoshi here you're, you have to basically sacrifice him to <laughs> sacrifice him to the video game gods just to unlock a secret exit to go play a shitty swimming level but you know what that's what Yoshi gets for being a bitch I don't like him okay so now oh yeah because now I remember this this is kind of a pain in the ass because you need to get through here with a Yoshi, and again, to uh, reaffirm my thought that Yoshi sucks, you can't trigger anything, you can't ride the fucking ropes with him. But I think if you just hold this down, yeah. Look at that. See that? I gave up Yoshi to get three lives. Fano snapped his fingers, hopefully he killed off all the fucking Yoshis. I don't know, maybe that's a little bit too mean, but I don't care, fuck. Not a fan. Okay, down to Soda Lake. This was the last level that I discovered as a child playing this game. This was the very last level I beat, because I remember beating the game, and when you beat Super Mario World, <laughs> spoilers, I guess, uh, they do this like thing where they show all the different villains like with their names. And I remember them showing the, I can't remember what these guys are called now. I'm embarrassed of that because it's like I know their name. I just. I'm fucking so stupid. I'm, fuck. And I knew that was going to happen too. Um. 
can't remember their names. That's gonna bother me. But anyway, uh, when you beat the game, they show all the different villains from the game with their like names under it. And I remember them showing these bullets that come out of the, that come down with the hand dropping them. And I was like, I don't, like I hit, fuck. It's so hard to talk while you play a video game. Uh, I remember beating it and seeing them on the screen and being like, I don't remember those guys. Like where the fuck level were they in? And it's cause this is the only level of the game they're in. And, uh, and I never played this level as a kid because I didn't know how to get the secret exit. I hate this cause you keep bouncing up. There we go. I didn't suck so hard at this. I'd have a fire flower right now, and this would be a piece of cake. I don't I don't even think ducking when you're little does anything. I think you stay the exact same size. It just looks funny. There we go. All right. Done with their... <sighs> Fuck off. I wonder if anyone's ever died in there. All right. Done with the shitty swimming level. I wonder if anyone's ever died in there. Like, they just weren't paying attention. They thought they were dead in the game. Ran in and... That would, ugh. Would be as embarrassing as half the deaths I've had in this fucking Let's Play so far. Alright, back to Star Road. Now we're not, for anyone that hasn't watched in the series, this is actually the first time I've triggered one of these. We're not doing Star Road yet. We'll save those for the end of the game. we just hike our way back through the water. One of the things I like about this game, too, I mean, I like everything about this game. I could have swore there was a way to look at the map. Oops. Guess it's not X, because X brings you to a level. Um, I like that they didn't really waste any real estate on the map, and I like there's parts where, like... Oh, yeah, fuck. I like that there'll be parts where you're, like, up above part of the map, like when you're up above the um, Vanilla Dome, and you can see the world below you, but they almost make it look like the world's a little bit smaller, like the... You can't see all the details. You can see the bridge. Okay, I need these guys to come back. Fuck off. There. Um, you can see like the bridge going above the or across the lake, but you can't see any of the levels or anything. So it's like they really try to do the whole like uh, like depth part. Like I don't know how I don't know what the word I'm looking for is like depth depth percept percept. Fuck, I'm so stupid. Like the depth of the the level, the depth of the map. Can we all just pretend that the 10 or 15 seconds I just recorded didn't happen? That would be great. Shouldn't call the series Adam Sucks at Video Games. Should call it Adam Sucks at Talking. Oh, and I gotta do this little and that fat fuck of a fish is coming. Although I will say, like, these fish aren't nearly the pain in the ass that the giant ones from Super Mario Bros. 3 that ate you are. Right? Like, we can all, we're all on the same page here for that, right? Yeah. I'll take that. I don't remember what's down here. Oh, okay. Fuck. I hate being little. I just... I mean, I guess it's part of the game, is you're not supposed to be relaxed when you're little, but... I am not. And especially when I'm trying to keep... Oh, great. Fuck face. Especially when I'm trying to keep this conversation going. Into this goddamn microphone at the same time. There we go. I never understood this. I'd be curious. If you know... I mean, I guess I could Google it now. You couldn't Google it back in the day. If you know exactly what this thing does or why this thing is triggered, tell me. I'm curious because it's like, I don't know. Maybe if you collect them all, you get a one-up or something. I've never had the patience to just like hang around and get all of its coins. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Done. <laughs> somebody could be watching this and be like, holy fuck, he's actually not bad at this game. And somebody else that actually knows how to play this game is watching this. Like, no, no, he's just getting incredibly lucky. He's very bad at this game. All right, up to Ludwig's Fort up here in the mountains. This is my favorite post-castle animation in the game, too. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we'll see when we get there. Actually, the one where it doesn't explode... And then when it does, Mario's got that, like, Three Stooges fried look on his face. is actually pretty funny, too. Oh, I, I tried to stop. I didn't want that. Oh, great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Tell me this isn't the worst Let's Play on the internet. Fucking terrible. Thanks for your help, Yoshi. Hey, come and save us. And then it's like, oh, hey, you want to come help me beat the fucking guy that kidnapped all your kids or family or whatever they are? And he's like, no, fuck. I'm going to go get some Taco Bell. You got this. Now I'll take your stupid mushroom. I'm legitimately frustrated and embarrassed with some of the deaths that I've had on this Let's Play. Like, I picked this game specifically because... I mean, partially because it's my favorite game. And partially because it is honestly, like, one of the games I'm best at of all the video games on the planet that I've played. And, uh, I am just struggling horribly here. For the record, I don't know if you guys... I mean, you probably know this. Much like how if you have a star, if you go through and kill a bunch of bad guys, you'll get a one-up. If you... Fuck. How do I, I didn't know how I didn't even see him. If you kill a bunch of bad guys on these fences without getting off the fence, you'll keep getting one-ups as well. It, like, it makes that that continuous jump noise, but they have to be on the same side of the fence. I believe. But I don't care about that right now. I just want to beat the stupid level. Well, the way I'm playing, I should be worrying about lives because I'm going to run into an issue here. Uh, another note, uh, I'm sure most of you know, Ludwig is the only one of the seven uh, Koopa kids to kind of get his own fight. Like his own distinct uh, battle style with this, what he's doing here. Because the other ones, two of them are on the uh, the, either the Tilty Island over the lava. Two of them are uh, in the pipes, uh, which is my favorite style, uh, where they're coming out of the pipes over the lava. And two of them uh, are just within closing in walls, which is kind of lame. And then, uh, and then Ludwig's got his own one here. Where he's hanging onto this long bridge, just doing flips. I don't know why they made his hair blonde too. His hair's supposed to be blue. Does that not bother anybody else? It bothers me. Anyway, so this is my probably. I was gonna say this is this is one of my top two favorite animations. Anyways, uh, just the way that it lands on the. Uh, I like that. But uh, I think the best one is probably where he jumps on the trigger over and over again and it doesn't blow up the castle. And then when it finally does, Mario looks like a goof. But Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Adam uh, Adam, Bl Adam Sucks at Video Games. Thank you guys so much for watching, putting up with my Let's Plays. If anyone has made it this far into the series, uh, thanks. I, I don't know if anybody will, but if you have, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to pick this thing up tomorrow. As you can see... Uh, the Forest of Illusion is right down the road, and uh, we'll stock upon some lives, take care of our last Switch Palace, and, uh, and plow through that forest on tomorrow's episode, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Cheers. If you can't get enough of that gooey, old-school video game goodness, then check out our retro gaming podcast, Remember the Game. Every Wednesday, me and a buddy will sit down, and we geek out about a game we played back in the day. You know, before we had taxes, jobs, and marriages to crush our spirits. Just search for Remember the Game on your favorite podcast provider. Check it out right here on YouTube or visit our website, rememberthegamepodcast.com.